make you think that I should calm down. Hey y'all, it's your girl Juliana, aka Life is Juliana, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Your girl is back with another one. If it is your first time here to my channel and you have not yet subscribed, feel free to do so. And turn on the post notifications so that way, that way, that way, you will always be the first one to be notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Brand new video. For all of my returning lovely, lovely loyals, on a don't know say, on a girl loving her to the max. Straight. All right, you guys, as you can see, we are not doing no home decor today, okay? Um, I wanted to take a break today. It's what I wanted to do, but I still wanted to give you guys some kind of a content. I was going to do a story time today. Tomorrow is going to be Tablescape Tuesday, right? But we don't want to do a story time today. So I'm going to figure... I just got done doing this recipe for my channel, um, how to cook. Okay, so I'm just on cook this from a cooking channel, um, and just got done editing that video also. So because of the cooking video, I wasn't able to do her home decor. So I was going to do something very mellow today. So anywho, I said, why not just come on here and just eat, eat away. And talk to no kind of slash mukbang slash story time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna get right into it. Now on the platter. And if it is a Jamaican, I don't know me I talk about yes, so. Period. I feel like Jamaican food you would know. So first of all, I'm having lemonade. Homemade lemonade. Now, if you hear a noise in the background, I'm the future. I'm always one for little notice every time I'm doing a video. Every time I'm doing a con anything, anything we have to do with content for YouTube, them setting for me. So, this is lemonade. Homemade lemonade. Um, You guys might have seen me made a similar one. My lips feel dry, but it doesn't really matter. Make a difference because I want to eat anyway, right? So you guys might have seen me make this when I did my kitchen refresh. Mm -hmm. So that one was done. I made another one today for dinner. So right here, I'm having a gungo rice and peas. I'm having a chicken. Um, but the chicken that I make that I'm the chicken I may eat right now, it's not brown stew chicken. This one is honey barbecue glaze chicken thighs. Boneless. No, it's not boneless. It's bone in, but it's skinless. Skinless honey glazed chicken thigh. Right? So that's what I cook for dinner. I don't eat a lot, so I only had one thigh. That's it. So I'm have gungo rice and peas. And then I have some fried plant fritters. Plant fritters. I also made a recipe on my channel, how to cook. But just, just do this one fresh. So if you guys want to see how I made that, go over and subscribe. You know what I mean? Go over and subscribe to my channel how to cook and you see exactly how I made the plant fritters we have banana fritters and we have plant fritters as well so this one is the plant one and then of course I have to have veggies right so I have some lettuce here that is not Raymond Raymond lettuce is my favorite lettuce but this is not Raymond this is another lettuce that I had in the store so I picked that up they didn't have no Raymond and then I have some tomatoes here and I love cucumber so I Sweet cucumbers. So I have, I tried them and I'm going to eat one of them on the way up. Because I'm sitting in my office doing this. So, and the gravy, honey, is gravy hen, okay? That glaze, honey, that glaze. If y'all never tried that, honey, glaze, garlic, all of that stuff, chicken thighs, go on my channel, honey, because it's on there. All right, so 
let's say grace and get it in. Heavenly Father, as I come before, I ask for your blessings for myself and for all those who are watching. Heavenly Father, please take the impurity from this meal and let it be nourishment to my mind, my soul, and body. Anything that may harm me, my body, we ask that you remove that. Provide for those that don't have a meal today and also you, their Lord, provide for all thine haters. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Let me go ahead and taste the scene. We have some things to talk about, um, but let me go ahead and dive into my food before it gets cold. All right. So, yes, honey. Let's see. This is this gungo rice on peas was made very fast, easy, and simple. It was made very fast, easy, and simple because I um, didn't want to go the long way of cooking the piece from beginning so I bought the one in the can it just has good so perfect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my eating is not back to where it needs to be yet I'm still having pressure but it can go on mm. The gungu ya, chagua with itself. Mm hmm. That gravy, y'all. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The gravy, y'all. Mm hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. If y'all never had sweet cucumber, try it with the food. So good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Pimenta seed. You have to have pimenta seeds when you're making rice and peas. Mm. That's good. This gravy is giving. Mm. This gravy is giving y'all. Right now, you get two for the price of one. You'll get mukbang. You'll get story time. Oh, the, oh, the pimento seed there. It's just stopping us all again. All right, there. I know I heard it. Mm hmm. And the pimento seed look like they're the peas green. But we can't find it. We find it eventually. I cook with it, but I can't shoot with my food. It have a strong, 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 strong flavor to it. A lot of people use the powder. You could buy the powder. If you don't want to have the seed, you can use the powder, powder, instead of the seed. Mmm. This chicken, honey, no, no, I'm all. No, no, I'm all the time. When I simmered it, I add a little bit of ketchup to it, and a little bit of barbecue sauce, and honey, with garlic butter, so nice. Mm. That was it. 
I didn't have any onion or nothing to it. Do you have to? Because I season it really, really good. Onion powder, garlic powder, chicken seasoning, um, salt and black pepper. I did add a little bit of complete seasoning to it. I mean, I usually cook with complete seasoning, but I add some to it. I add some to my food sometimes, but it's not my favorite seasoning. I like old Cheerios. Mmm. Old Cheerios. The best. Mm-hmm. Lettuce. One thing about me, y'all, one thing about me, no matter what I'm eating, I always had vegetables to it. Always. Some kind of vegetable. Mmm. This lettuce. It's not as mellow. It's kind of more chewy. It's not like Raymond lettuce, but they didn't have it. So I just kind of grabbed what they had. What they had, this was from Food Depot. It's all right, but it's not my favorite. And I'm a favorite this. But the gravy up, make everything right. Mmm. That's what the fillers look like. But well, what I did with this one now, really, you know what? If you want to see how I made it, go to my channel, my cooking channel. I mean, I'll tell you how to make it. But it's really good. Mmm. If you are a Jamaican, you will know exactly how I feel about this. This is the closest you're going to get to heaven. Mm, we don't actually go in there. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. And the good thing about these fritters. I didn't make them crispy. They're not supposed to crispy. If you make your fritters, your fritters, your banana fritters, your platinum fritters, and they're crispy, you did something wrong. You're not supposed to toss. You're supposed to be able to shake like this. For sure. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm.
Mm -hmm. Talk about nuts. Mm. Cheers. Cheers to a blessed man then. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I'm gonna do something. Hmm. Just when you eat the gravy out with the rice together, it just melts right in your mouth. It literally melts in your mouth. Like, seriously. Not because I cooked it, but because it's the damn truth. Mm -mm -mm. This gravy. Mm. A little bit of honey. Barbecue sauce, ketchup, vinegar, right? And what else? Ketchup. Barbecue sauce, honey, vinegar, and some good season. Mm. Butter, garlic. Oops, go over there. Mm -mm -mm. I left no rice back. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. That's when you know the food is good. When it's when you clean it out like this, mm -hmm. gravy is good, everything is good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Can't eat the bone. Usually, I would eat the bone, okay? But me not mess up my try to mess up my teeth. Okay. Y'all know that I just got done with my damn teeth. So I ain't trying to eat no bone, chew no bone on them teeth. This is spicy, I go. Mm mm. Me not even drop up my teeth, my implants. Mm mm. I ain't taking no risk with that one. Mm. That was good. That was seriously good.
And again, if y'all want to know how this particular recipe is done, mm, I'm going to put the video link in this video for the recipe on my cooking channel. How to cook. Okay? The rice and peas and the chicken. I have probably about I don't know, a whole, I have a lot of recipes with chicken thighs. But this one, I'm definitely going to put it on the channel, the link. So you guys can go over and watch. And cook it. I let me know, I want to like it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hey, Poopy. <laughs> you just got done eating also. But anyway, you guys. Let's get into the story time. Now, hold on. One thing about these um, implants, when you eat, or whatever the hell I did, right? Now I notice when I eat, food is everywhere. It like stuck in between my teeth. So now I have to be flossing more than I ever did. And let's just say I keep something right here every time. Because I'm presently in my office. That's where I am right now, in my office. So I keep toothpick and a floss to floss. Have to floss. As I don't eat, I have to floss. As I don't eat, so anything, I have to floss. And I'm a bag it there, everything. Mm -hmm. But anyway, you guys, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is this. And it really been bothering me, for real. It's been bothering me like crazy. Now, for those of you that don't know, I have a, I lost a sister recently. My sister was my everything, my best friend, my everything. And still going through the grieving stage. Yeah, I am. I lost my sister to cancer. She had um uterine uterine cancer. But when she found out she had it, it was already at a four. It was already at a four. But anyway, this is how we might have to tell it on. While my sister was doing chemo. At a four. Well, before the chemo, she did surgery. She did a lot of things, you guys. She did a lot of things. A couple of things. She did chemo. It wasn't working. She did radiation. It wasn't working. She took the chemo pill. And that's when the doctor said, that's it. You can't do nothing else. They gave up right then and there. I remember she called me and she said, the doctors told her that our insurance, the insurance that she have, they can't, they, no, this is what she told me they told her. And this is scary. It's scary for me and it should be scary for everybody else. Okay? But it really bothers me. It really, really bothers me. She told me that the that our our um cardiac our our, our our oncologist called her and said to her that the chemo pill wasn't working. She had that she does have other treatment that she could that she could do to save her life. However, because of our insurance, our insurance that want now cover it, she can't do nothing. The only thing that they could do is just give her the chemo pill and that's it. The chemo pill now work, that's it. Um basically 
this is what it boils. And re, let me tell us it really bother me, right? Um, it really bothers me. I don't even know what to say. When she called me and told me, the doctor told her that I was like, it made me check my own self. When it come on to health insurance, it really does. So basically, the oncologist said there was a whole lot of other treatment option that she could have tried, but her insurance is not going to to pay for it. Now she had, I know you asked what kind of insurance she had. She had, well, she lived in Florida, so she had. I think it was Cigna, Florida, Cigna, Cigna, Florida, or something like that. And she had another one. Two different kind of insurance she did out. She had one from her job and then the job, I guess because she out of work too long, she was working at Walmart and because she, I guess she was out of work too long, they cut off the insurance. So Walmart was covering no more of her doctors visit or whatever she was going through with her radiation or whatever it's called while my stop so she had that i think it was florida blue remember if y'all from florida you y'all know okay but i know she said she had Cigna and she have another one she have another one not two of them she did have but the doctor said that she can't give her none of, no more treatment even though that they even even though that there was many more options that could have prolonged her life, that could have taken the cancer away. She said that she couldn't do it. She couldn't do it. So basically, instead of doing anything further, she just cut off all treatment. She stopped the treatment. Just stop. She just stop. And gave her six months to live. Now I have um, met, well, when my sister was going through all of this, I came across a friend, um, and now she's a special friend. Um, she had to, she works at the Cancer Treatment Center. Ashanti, if you're listening to this, honey, I'm going to share what you told me the best way that I can because YouTube, honey, them not now, mom. So while my sister was going through the treatment, of cancer she had contacted me and she told me that she works um in the cancer treatment area and she did share some things with me um but at the time it was really hard to get to my sister my sister kind of tick headed and so it was hard for me to she, she believed in her oncologist let's put it that way so it was hard for me to even suggest anything as far as treatment and options were concerned now now a shot but this may help somebody else and Ashanti, I'm going to send you the link to this video so you could comment in the comment and let people know, okay? To confirm what I'm saying here because I may not be able to explain it as much as you explained it to me. But I'm going to do my best. Now, she shared with me, let me, because let me write down what she tell me, you know. Let me see what she did tell me. I'm going to want me to send her skip nothing. Now, she, she tells me that um, where she's working, they only take care of patients that has stage three and stage four cancer. I don't know what kind of cancer, but she said that's what they do at the facility that she works at. They only do those stages. That's the only place. That's the only stage that they take. So she has a lot of knowledge to the treatment. Now, this is what she told me. I'm not gonna try to make it not too graphic, because I know that YouTube be watching these videos from start to finish because I'm not, I'm not better for them. And they will either flog the video or they will take it down because I'm sharing information, right? But hopefully I can get this out to whoever needs to know it. Let me put this here so I'm not look over this so I'll see what I have to see and say what I have to say. Put on glasses. Um, all right, so she said the, the, um, the, the cancer treatment center, so that is not only where she's living, she's living, I'm not going to say where she was, she's in the U.S., but I'm not going to mention the state that she's living in, 
Um, but she did tell me that cancer treatment centers mostly take most of them do. I guess they have different different ones or whatever that takes different different type of uh, care. My sister had four, so I guess sure another category where my friend is working on stage four, right? So um, she said what they do there, right? They do not give it to. Do I have a pen to write it? Let me write it. She said the treatment to save lives, they do not give this. Okay, this doesn't get it. You guys can see that. Let me write it out again. And the devil is alive because this is a new pen and it's not doing nothing. All right, so I hope that you guys could see because I'm not even getting up. All right, so, <clears throat> all right, so this colored skin don't get it, okay? The, the what the treatment that they have to save lives for the for the this right here the skin color here don't get that opportunity okay that's what she told me this is someone that works there okay um says stage three and four goes through all treatment it's called uh care no it's she said it's called car t therapy okay um that is i guess that is something that will take out the this right here it takes care of the c but it is they don't offer it to people like this tone especially if you don't have money now if you are this skin tone and you have a uh, lot of money then you're good you can't pay your feet but if your insurance does not cover over five hundred thousand dollars for that treatment, save life, good insurance. That's it, point blank. Okay, you have to have excellent, excellent insurance to cover that treatment. It's called the CAR T therapy. That much I remember. I don't know all the ads and bits and pieces and stuff, but I remember she said car T therapy. I wrote it down. Just like she was telling me, y'all, I wrote it down so that we have to share it with y'all because you know your girl got a lot of I hit every day. Some of the members shit off the time. So I'm gonna make sure some write it down so we can share it. Okay? It's called the car T therapy, honey. That's what she told me. She told me vividly, car T therapy. Um, <clears throat> it's very expensive, extremely, extremely expensive. It does save, um, lives, um, but it's very costly. And so many people cannot afford it, such as would, myself wouldn't be able to afford that shit. Um, and my sister definitely couldn't afford that either. It's very, very expensive. And so they just left her for dead. Just like they would have left me for damn dead. Because I, I, could, I could tell you right now. I wouldn't be able to afford a car T therapy. Okay. I can't. I ain't got that kind of money. I ain't got that kind of money. My husband would have to sell this house. And we, and we live outside in, in the car and go for treatment. From the damn car. Because we can't afford that kind of money. So I would be going home to see my damn sister, my mama, everybody else on the other side. Because I already know I ain't got that kind of money. I cannot afford a car T therapy. I don't know if you guys know about this, but this is what she told me to share. And I'm sharing it with you guys. Um, she said that the, 
the skin color here is all the way at the bottom because they 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 stop at a certain spot, okay? You ain't you ain't got no money with this color, you out the door. But she said they this color right here, okay, they will get it. They will get it faster than this color. Okay. I'm just saying. And she but she did say it's all about the money. If you ain't got the money, your ass is gonna be grass. And I know that, God forbid, I ever come down with something like that, I know that my ass is going to be grass real quick. So, with that being said, y'all, I guess I shared enough because you don't know YouTube. When they repeat yourself over and over, they just start to tap into what the hell you're saying. But in the name of Jesus, I bind y'all up. I bind up YouTube and them fuck, right? Forgive my word, but to the truth. I'm pissed. They left my sister for dead. This damn uh, doctor, okay? Bind, uh, bind up the doctor, them. <coughs> bind them up. It's wicked and it's sad that it boils down to money. You know what I'm saying? It boils down to money. She told me the doctors told her that they couldn't do shit for her because she ain't got the money to for the treatment that could save her life. Okay, so y'all, with that being said, <coughs> I want to a candle right now. I try to eat good, eat good, um, take care of yourself, try not to be stressed. I try not to be stressed, I always stay in a meditated state. Okay, um, I try my best, I try not to tap into um, people and their negativity. Um, I always try my best to stay out of drama and conflicts and, and stuff that's going to stress me the hell out. Dealing with anxiety and depression and all of that stuff. I try to I run away from that stuff because that will make you sick, 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 sicker than cancer do. Okay? It will take you out in a minute. And even though my sister was dealing with cancer, she was dealing with a lot of stress around her. She was dealing with a lot of stress. She was stressed out. Okay? She was stressed out. With everything that was going on around her, she was stressed out. It was just the that's not the cancer that was, was 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 stressing her out, but the entire everything around her was stressing her out. She was under stress. So I I I, I witnessed it like this in my in my face. Okay, Ain't nobody can't tell me shit because I saw it. I I I I met up with stress like this. So. I try my best, y'all. I know it ain't easy to stay stress-free or whatever, but believe me, when you put God first, he will make a way. So you stay away from all of that. Anybody that's going to bring stress towards you and drama and conflicts and bullshit and have everything else, when they're miserable, they want you to be miserable with them, run. <clears throat> run as fast as you can. Okay? Run. As fast as you can. Find a place <clears throat> of peace. You see right now I'm sitting here. I'm at a place of peace. Because everybody doesn't know. My office is my sanctuary, honey. I don't play around my office. So when I'm in here, I'm at a place of peace. Okay? I told you guys that all the time. I have to hold my, my lane. I have to maintain my lane. I know my lane. So I try to not to be stressed out. And um, it really helps me. I have to. I have no choice, you guys. I already told you, you guys didn't watch the video, but let me tell you another one here. I have a heart condition. Okay? I have three leaking valves every freaking day since I was six years old. Okay? I'm dealing with um, thyroid condition. I'm taking medication for that. I don't have my surgery. I had my 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 calcium gland removed, y'all. Okay. So can you imagine if I was dealing with stress every day, all damn day? What would have happened to me? If I'm dealing with a heart condition, I'm dealing with my damn thyroids. My mood is all over the place. I'm taking medication every freaking day. <clears throat> if I don't take medication every day, I cannot function. Listen, put it this way. If I don't take my medication, I'm going to 
I'm going to be out of here. I, I, hasta la vista. I have to take my medication every day for the rest of my life, you guys. I go through it. So I cannot allow stress, people and their bullshit to, to get to my heart. I just cannot do it. I can't. Mm -mm. No, hell to the now. I'm not doing it. Mm-mm. 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 I ain't doing it. Judgment on their ass. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I'm not doing it. I'm not allowing anyone to tap into my energy. I'm not allowing anyone to stress me out. I, I When I leave this place, I'm going to leave this place because my God said it's time to leave this place. I'm not going to leave this place because people are stressing me and causing blood pressure and causing hypertension and causing uh, heart attack, all kinds of bullshit. Okay? When I'm leaving here, I'm going to be leaving here because God says so. So I say, find a place of peace, you guys. Because people is out there cold and wicked and vicious and they're just trying to take you down all the way them down, right? So just protect your damn energy. Keep your eyes open because misery love company. And not only that, people hide very well. They hide their wicked, vicious ways very well. And that goes to every damn body. All the doctor them do. They don't care about you. Fr a lot of friends, family members, whoever the hell. I don't care. Okay? Everybody have a mission. They have a mission. So that's where you have to make sure that you are protected at every single cost of your life. And you staying prayed up and you're asking God to protect you. Every single day. You you go to bed, you call upon God and say, God protect me. Protect me from these wicked people out here. Okay? You have to. Because stress, honey, is the number one cause of death. Okay? And I ain't trying to make it be mine. I just want to go to sleep and not wake up. That's what I choose to do. Go to sleep and not wake up. Just like my mama did. Go to sleep and never wake up. I don't want to be tortured by wicked. <laughs> okay? Alright, you guys. That's it. I'm going to leave this one here. Because um, I don't want to go into an hour like I did last time. Even though you guys might be enjoying my rumbling, whatever, but it's the truth, it's the facts. So Ashante, thank you for the information that you give me. I'm happy to share it with everyone, even though I was trying to be very discreet at doing it. But thank you. Now, if you want to comment in the comments, I'll definitely say go ahead and do that. But I don't want to put too much in the video because YouTube, they don't want nobody to know about the C thing where we are going, okay? I love you guys to the moon and stars. Um... Uh, just go ahead and show your love. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Until then, walk good. Take care of yourself. Bye, guys. Later.